Now, when you're thinking of urban planning, the, the normal response of people who are not into this sector in India is, ah, we need more planning in our cities, and immediately say we should build more Chandigars. <laughs> now, the problem is that if you actually try to add in all these 350 million more people into Chandigars, we would end up covering more, probably more of uh, half the, of the country with just one gigantic city. The fact remains that if we want to build next generation cities, we've got to begin completely rethinking, particularly mobility, but also the urban form that we're talking about. I live in Gurgaon, brand new city. Okay? You cannot actually function there without a car. I have two cars, not because uh, you know, I'm in love with cars, I actually pretty much hate them, but the fact is I couldn't function without them. Now, of course, the metro has come, so hopefully that'll improve a bit. I've been working quite a lot on the issue as how will next generation cities be, particularly in the context where in India, most of the urban space that will ex exist by the middle of the century hasn't actually been built yet. Mm. And the one thing that I have come down to is that if we must make next generation cities, the, the guiding principle of that has got to be walkability. If you build a city which is walking, for walking, it will by its very nature be much more dense. Density is an extremely important to making cities efficient, number one. Number two, we talk about public transport, but in fact, the first mile and last mile of all public transport is based on walking. Yeah. Okay? If you do not make a city walkable, it cannot, no public transport system can work. And this is one of the major problems with, by the way, the BRT system that is being used in Delhi. It's not working because really, it is impossible to actually get to the bus itself. Once you're in it, maybe it's fine. But the fact is, the network last mile connectivity on either side is very, very important. Walkable cities, by far, are also very egalitarian. Mm -hmm. Okay, And I'll again use Bombay and Delhi and contrast. Bombay, by the way, statistics show, are actually is a city which people do walk in, mm -hmm. despite the fact that it's a horrible place to walk. Uh, in fact, the statistics show that something like almost 50% of Mumbaikars walk the entire route of their daily commute. Mm -hmm. Another 40 odd percent um, use public transport, which means that the two ends of the, th uh, of the tr thing they do some walking. So basically, almost 90% of Mumbai cars actually do some degree of walking every day. Now, in terms of income, Mumbai is probably the worst city in the world because of the sheer difference in income at Maybe the two disparity ends. Talks. Disparity. Okay. However, in ethos, it's actually a very egalitarian city. Mm -hmm. And my contention is, the reason for this is the much more widespread use of walking and the train system mm. in Bombay than, say, in Delhi. 